about me starting a vlog at the train. But I'm going to meet with this woman who's starting her own like magazine publication and we've been emailing back and forth for a while now and she finally flew out from LA so I'm gonna go meet with her so I can be featured in I guess the first issue but of course I'm late for no apparent reason I just wanted to take a nap first and that made me late um, I just stopped by Rite Aid and got some band-aids because I already feel like I made the wrong decision wearing these Steve Madden shoes and I feel like they're going to start cutting my flesh soon. Woman, you know what I'm talking about. I got the band-aids for like preventative measures and they were like an arm and a leg but I guess you can charge that much when you know women are going to be in pain. I'm gonna go meet with her. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog the experience because I feel like that's just kind of weird. And then after that, I'm gonna go chill with someone. And I don't know if I'm gonna vlog that either because that's also kind of weird. We'll see. This stop is Exchange Place. Change here for the train to Hoboken across the platform. I've already given in to the band-aids as soon as I got on the train. Because it was tearing my skin, guys. Anyways, I need to use Google Maps and find out where this cafe I'm meeting this woman at. That went well, I think. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I think it was a little easier because um, the woman who picked me and was interviewing me actually fucked with my art. Like, I remember one time I was doing an interview with someone and I was like, you don't even... Sorry. I should exploit every single relationship in my life at least until I get to a certain point but I'm early enough to stop at Kalamba and get myself some coffee which I never am I was 
wasn't even gonna vlog guys i just went and picked up my lunch sometimes i just want to enjoy lunch without having to speak to an audience and that's no good for you guys so let me just show you guys what i got for lunch i got a vegetable soup and i got these tomato mozzarella bite i'm obviously gonna add sriracha to it i'm giving in to the diet soda again my manager bought it for me like i can't I can't resist it at that point. Oh my god, outfit of the day. I could do outfit of the day, right? Um, skull cashmere. I'm pretty sure I did a lookbook with this one. And the fair, my AG. Always wearing the fair, my AG. Kind of basic, but I was just going to work, so y'all. So I'm in Target. I low key think Target is mad expensive when it comes to like clothing and everything else but the food the food is really a steal in comparison to Whole Foods which is right across the street sorry Whole Foods so I'm just gonna pick up some cookies I've already been to Whole Foods and I got my Chipotle label really don't know why anybody would go to Chipotle you could get so much more if you just go to the the um hot food bar at Whole Foods and it's $9, it's the same price, so I don't get it. My kitchen literally has the worst lighting ever. <sighs> Looks like I'm in a freaking doctor's office every time I try to film at night. But I wanted to do a little Target haul because I don't know, I find it interesting when I'm watching vlogs from people from all over the world and I see what they get for their prices, the, what produce costs in like the Midwest or the South, and I like to compare it to mine. And I know mine is always the more expensive because I'm close to New York. I know sometimes I'm like, yeah, I got my lunch for $10 today, yay! Um, and you guys are like, what are you talking about? $10 is like a lot of money for one day's lunch, but for me it's cheap because I'm in New York. So. Target haul. Got one avocado for $1.39, I believe. Um, everywhere else I've been looking for avocados, they've been a dollar fifty. That's why I've kind of like not been on my avo toast kick lately because I remember there was a time when they were a dollar each. Sometimes they're even um like two for five dollars. Like that's the normal price of two avocados here. So. 139 for one isn't that bad but it's also not ideal i would like them to be a dollar you people who are getting like five for a dollar i hate you i got two lean cuisine meals i really wanted to get the amy's ones but they were five something and ever since you guys told me i was paying way too much for lunch i decided that if i can't meal prep and this week i haven't been able to meal prep and i probably won't be able to meal prep since the week has already started um i decided that i am making a promise to myself that when i do eat my lunch at work is not going to be more than five dollars so this was 319 and the amy's was five something so i had to go with this one and this tofu was two something which i think is better than my local grocery store here because i think it's around three almost four dollars it might be four something actually so as a vegetarian i really tofu has i kill a tofu like if you watch doug you know what i'm talking about that was i love the beats <laughs> the beats they made the song killer tofu um i need mo allowance Yo, lady. Two bananas that look like they were ripening because for some reason um, at the grocery store around the corner for me they always have like so much bananas but they're always like green. Like I can never eat them. I need bananas that are going to be like ready tomorrow morning. They're nice and spotty and sweet when I peel them so that I can add them to my steel cut oats. Hummus. I love the supremely spicy hummus. It's my favorite because I like everything spicy. 
And I just got a little thing of pretzels to eat with that so I can bring that to work with me. And this was like $2.19 and usually I pay $3.99 for it, so yeah. Max just like closed his door on me. I guess I'm vlogging too loud for him. That was my little Target haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now I'm about to go indulge in my Whole Foods meal and I'm going to binge watch some more Westworld since I don't work until late tomorrow so I can actually stay up and watch a few episodes.